Hello, Helen here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's card I'm going to be using the W plus 9 stamp called A Kind Soul. My card inspiration today is a card I saw on Pinterest from a blog called heartshugsandflowers.blogspot.com and I'm going to do a watercolour version of this in a completely different colour. I'm going to be doing a panel right down the left hand side of my card and I'm going to try and make it look continuous so I'm going to stamp the stamp to start with at the top using the Misty, stamping it with Onyx black ink and then embossing it with Ranger clear embossing powder. And then I've made a mask with masking paper and I'm just covering the bottom of the first stamp and I'm going to overlap the sec second stamping um, just trying to make it look like it's in behind the stamp that I've already done. And when you take the mask off you see that the stamp looks like it's in behind the the top stamp so that's exactly what I wanted to look like and it looks continuous. So I just need to put the embossing powder on that and heat it with the heat tool and that's the stamping done for that part of the card. The paper I've been stamping on this time is a new paper to me. I've um, bought some Strathmore Bristol smooth paper. Apparently it's very good for um, colour blending and that's what I bought it for but it's also supposed to be very good for watercolouring so I'm going to have a go with it today. I'm going to be watercolouring with Distress Inks today and I'm going to be doing a method called wet on wet so you start off by using some clean water and I'm using a number two brush and I'm just wetting all over on petal by petal and then what I do is just get a little bit of the ink and drop it into where I would want the darkest colour to be or the where the shadow is going to be. And then the water on the paper already um, helps distribute the ink so you let the water do most of the work. So I let the ink do the blending into the water while I go on with another petal and then sometimes I go back and help spread the ink around a little bit just to take some of the harsh lines away. Um, sometimes I might dab it with a paper towel just to take the excess water if there's too much water sitting there or um, sometimes what I'll do is wet the colour. If, if I've put too much colour into a petal I wet the area where I want it to be lighter and then dab away some of the colour. The Distress Ink's very good for that because you can um, reactivate it with water and um, dab it away so that it lightens it. Thank you. 
I apologise for um, not zooming in while I was painting this flower. Um, I do in a moment zoom in so you can see me painting another flower just so that you can see the water activation but um, this one I hadn't done the zoom so sorry about that. As you see the water really does most of the work in this style of water colouring. You don't really need to fuss with it at all. Um, it's perfectly okay just to leave it as it is. Um, I'm a little bit OCD with my watercolour painting so I went back and just took some of the harsh lines away and just softened it just slightly but you certainly don't need to do all your layers and things like you do with other styles of watercolouring. I have to say I'm very impressed with this Bristol Smooth um, paper. It's holding up really well to the water colouring. Even where in places where I've used quite a bit of water, it's not warped terribly or um, looking all wavy or anything. So that's looking very good. The main colour I've done the flowers is um, wilted violet and I thought I was going to use seedless preserves to do the centre but it's way too ready coloured so I've got out some um, black soot and I'm just mixing a bit of that into the seedless preserves well actually I'm mixing a bit of seedless preserves in with the black soot just to make redden the, the black a little bit and it's a lot more realistic centre because the anemones have quite a dark centre. The petunias I'm going to paint with um, picked raspberry. Um, again, I'm just color I'm putting water into the area where I want the main part of the color to be. So um, I'm wetting it all but the center of the flower, and then I'm dropping in little bits of picked raspberry just around where the um, center part of the drawing of the flower is. When I find I've got too much colour into the petals or I've spread the colour too far I just wet the area where I want to um, take away some of the colour and then dab it with the paper towel and some of the colour comes away and sometimes I've got to do that a couple of times just to get it lighter.
So I continue finishing off all the petunias and then I've just got the leaves to do. Um, they're very simple, I've just kept them really simple with just um, a wash of the pale green over them and then slightly darker pigment um, where the shadows would be or where flowers are overlapping the leaves. I've used mode lawn distress sink for those. Once all my watercolour is finished, I'm going to fussy cut um, along the right hand edge of that stamping. Um, fussy cutting right to the black line. I'm not going to show you all of it because it took me a wee while. I'm quite a slow cutter. Once I finished the fussy cutting I went down around all the outside edge with a black pen just to tidy up the, the look of it. Now that I've got my watercolour panel finished um, I've got a card base ready with some lilac card and I've pre-stamped a greeting from the Alter New Birthday Greetings stamp set. And now I'm just going to put scotch tape on the back of the watercolour panel, rather a lot of scotch tape. I'm just wanting to make sure that it's all level and all the leaves that I've fussy cut are all um, supported on the back. And then once I've finished that I peel off all the backing paper and stick that down onto my card base. The last thing I'm going to do is just pop some clear sparkling sequins um, just in the 4 and 6 millimetre, just dotted around the card just to give a little bit of sparkle. And then I've used some Wink of Stella on the centre of the anemones and that's the card finished. Thank you for joining me today, I appreciate your company. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time with another card. Bye for now.